helping teachers to collaboratively design and deliver engaging science education. Scientific inquiry is propelled by the need to figure things out. This process follows a pattern where scientists use evidence to construct explanations for observed phenomena. Similarly, students must be allowed to grapple with scientific concepts in order to develop rich understandings of scientific phenomena. Imagine a classroom where students in small groups are engaging in a science lesson. The students express wonderment, frustration, and joy as they explore a data set to develop a claim based on evidence about what's happening and why it's happening. Shifting the focus from reaching one correct answer towards the process of generating and negotiating ideas leads to deeper engagement with scientific concepts and the development of critical thinking. However, teachers often have minimal experience encouraging students to engage in discussions centered on scientific knowledge generation, called productive science talk. Researchers from Florida State University and Georgia State University are finding ways to enhance teachers' development in such ambitious instruction. Their project, Learning Through Collaborative Design Professional Development, or LCDPD, investigates how collaborative lesson design can provide teachers with skills to facilitate productive science talk. Key aims of LCDPD are, one, to engage teachers as students in science activities so they can better consider how the student experience can be leveraged to support productive science talk in their classroom, and two, to help teachers design, analyze, and refine their practice in collaboration with their peers. During the first phase of the project, the team designed, implemented, and refined their model of professional development in two school districts during 2018 and 2019. Teachers initially participated in a six-day institute, where they collaborated to explore the role of productive talk in science learning, examine strategies that support such discourse, and design lessons grounded in this learning. The teachers continued to collaborate during cycles of professional development across the school year. Findings from the first phase identified effective professional development science talk design principles. Additionally, the team identified key instructional components that maintain high-level student thinking, including rigorous tasks and continual encouragement from the teacher throughout a lesson. Lastly, the team analyzed the impact that framing and teacher moves have on student learning through talk. They found that even when curricular materials have the potential to engage students in productive discussions, small instructional moves can drive students away from sense-making and towards accumulating previously developed knowledge. These findings demonstrate the need for professional development programs to focus on the power and timing of instructional moves. The next phase of LCDPD, a field study, will compare the LCDPD model with a model called Learning Through Participation in Classroom Activity Professional Development, or LPCAPD, and a results-based professional development model, which will act as a control. The LCDPD group will engage in collaborative lesson design and revising curricular materials, while the LPCAPD group will engage in cycles of teaching and analyzing without the collaborative design component. The control group will help the researchers understand the influence of collaborative design on teachers' learning and practices. Although COVID-19 has delayed the final phase of the project by one year, the researchers have already contributed valuable information to the science education community through presentations and papers. Ultimately, their strategies could help teachers gain the skills they need to provide high-quality instruction to their students.